We're continuing our coverage tonight following the death of a Preble County Sheriff's deputy. Deputy Joshua Hamilton and another man died in a head-on crash early Monday morning. And tonight, the sheriff is talking publicly about the loss and how his office, office is trying to process what happened. Lydia Bice is live tonight from Tobias Funeral Home now where Deputy Hamilton was taken after Monday's deadly crash. Lydia? That's right, Adam. So the two main updates today include those funeral arrangements for Preble County Sheriff's Deputy Joshua Hamilton, and those services will be taking place on Friday and Saturday of this week in Richmond, Indiana. Now, our other update today is that we got to sit down with Preble County Sheriff Mike Simpson for the first time since this tragedy. Yeah, so, you know, yesterday it was a gut punch. Uh, Based on what I can see in the history books, uh, I'm not aware that we've ever had a, uh, a line of duty death. The first line of duty death in Preble County right before Christmas. Deputy Joshua Hamilton killed in a head on crash Monday morning. Preble County Sheriff Mike Simpson telling us he brought in support for his staff as soon as he could. So. Uh, we brought in uh, counselors yesterday, CIT members, uh, uh, and made them available to staff uh, to talk to, kind of help process this a little bit, and, and we will continue to have them come back. We've also learned today that funeral services for Deputy Joshua Hamilton will take place on Friday, December 22nd, and Saturday, December 23rd. Visitation will be held on Friday evening at the Pentecostal Tabernacle in Richmond, Indiana from 4 to 8 p.m. The funeral service will be held at that same church on Saturday at 10 a.m. Deputy Hamilton will be laid to rest at a cemetery in Gratis, Ohio after the funeral service. Deputy Hamilton leaves behind his 10-year-old daughter, Michaela. Deputy Hamilton uh, had, a, had a daughter. Uh, you know, we're still trying to determine what we may need to do for her and if there's anything that we that we believe that the public uh, could as, can assist in uh, we'll, we'll put that out the sheriff also had this to say to the two families involved i just think that uh, uh, both families we feel your pain and uh, and we we send our sympathy we send our prayers to both families and we'll continue to do so now, the Ohio State Highway Patrol is still investigating Monday's crash. Now, we haven't yet heard about any funeral arrangements for the other driver involved, Michael Gayhart, but as soon as we do, we'll update you here on air and online at Dayton247now.com. Back to you.